Good afternoon. Um, the first question is, do you agree with Jenny Gilruth that 10 percent, uh, the, the, the teacher's 10 percent pay demand is a reasonable request, as she said on debate night? Secondly, on, on the gender reform, um, last week you were asked if Isla Bryson was a man or a woman and you said you do not have enough information to validate that claim. Now, under GRR, how would you validate that claim under the existing bill? there's a diagnosis of gender dysphoria which is being removed. So how do you validate somebody's um, legal sex under GRR? And you've also created this new category of rapist, but GRR didn't prevent all rapists from getting a gender recognition certificate. It was only those subject to sexual offences prevention order. So it was only the most serious rapists. So under GRR, Isla Bryson could have quite easily got a gender recognition certificate, which would have made it a criminal offence for people to disclose her previous gender. The, the, the legislation and the specific amendments that were uh, put into the legislation around the ability to effectively pause a process for uh, a gender recognition certificate on the basis of uh, the police having a sexual offences uh, order um, actually uh, are a strengthening of the the law around that if, if that law comes into to force. There is no such procedure in the current law for uh, somebody getting a gender recognition certificate. Uh, my comments about her, uh, the, the person being a rapist is in context of what should happen to them within the prison service. This is a debate about whether this individual uh, should be in a, a male or a female prison. And in my view, what matters uh, there is the, the nature of the crime and the degree of risk that on the basis of an assessment, it is considered that the individual poses. And that is the position, has been the position previously and is the position now. And that is, in my view, the right one. Oh, sorry, uh, look, I haven't seen the uh, precise uh, comments, but if Jenny Gilruth is saying um, that we wish we could give 10% pay rises to teachers and that it's not unreasonable for uh, somebody to want that magnitude of a pay rise, then yes, uh, but that's not affordable within the reality uh, of the financial situation we are in. You know, the NHS uh, Agenda for Change workforce haven't been given a, offered a 10% pay rise this year. Um, and therefore we need to, we, I have great sympathy for workers generally and for public sector workers given the level of inflation. But as First Minister, we have to reach agreements that are affordable within the resources we've got. And that's what we're seeking to do uh, with teachers.